Today we're going to talk about the subtitle format. The most popular and the most common is SRT. And the good news is SRT works on everything. And it's easily made. In fact, SRTs are basically just text files with the timestamps added to them. Now, you could really do this with any text editor. There's nothing stopping you from understanding the timestamps and making a subtitle file in Vim. But if you're like me, you're more of a visual person and it's always good to have a visual representation. So the subtitles we're going to be making today, we're going to use a program called Subtitle Editor. So let's see, I think first thing I want to do is I want to make a new project. Ah, there we are. We want to open a video. Open. Ah, there's my gorgeous face. This is an example of so we got the video loaded but now we want a waveform so what this does is this is going to generate a waveform to help give us a visual guide for where things are generate waveform from video this might take a few seconds depending on like the video this video here is very short so it's going to be pretty easy look at that a lot easier to understand where you are Oop, that's right the insert key here you have your start your end and your duration so the nice thing is you can Find your start point. This is an example of subtitles. So clearly that ends, so we're at four seconds. So we want this to end at 4.4. .4. So I'm gonna do 4.4. .4. Want to start at one. See where, you can see where it's going from here to there. So this is an example. This is an example of Subtitles. I don't think that's what I said, but we're going to go with that. We're going to test that out. This is an example of subtitles. So we want to add a new one. We do an insert. So generally, it seems to do a 0 0.1 uh, frame jump here. So as we can see, it was 4.4. Now it's 4.5. So this looks closer to 4.6. I'm using this visual guide over here. I can't remember what I said, so let's rewind it subtitles. I'm making this clip specifically so that I can add subtitles that will appear just below my head. If you don't have good quick back and forth memory recall like I do not have, this might be kind of hard. <laughs> but again, once you get into the flow of it, it makes it a lot easier. So this subtitle line is kind of long. So one trick that I come up with is I, I do edit and I duplicate this line. Now notice how this ends at the nine second mark and starts at the 4.6 second mark. So we kind of want to cut this in half. This is where the duration plugin comes in. So 4.4, I'm going to make this 2.2, the exact half mark. And as you can see, it changes to 6.8. And now it, it divided these two and a half. So if we play it back, this is an example of subtitles. I'm making this clip specifically so that I can add sub Let's go back to 6.8. All right, so we want to change it right here. Boop, boop. And now when we play it back, because we trimmed it in half, this is an example of subtitles. I'm making this clip specifically so that I can add subtitles that will appear just below my head. I have to fix that last one, but you keep building it out and it'll eventually be really good. One of the very simple little tricks that make this whole thing awesome is that you can use this technique to make subtitles for other languages. All you gotta do is drop the subtitles into you know Google Translate or something equivalent, and voila, you have poorly done, but totally adequate subtitles. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a better job of subtitling my videos. I have a lot of videos without subtitles, and the ones I post on the YouTube YouTube auto generates that, but for videos posted anywhere else, if, if I don't upload my own SRT file, there are no subtitles. So something I need to work on. All right, guys. Peace.